next topic is uh, mo diagram for oxygen molecule mo diagram for oxygen molecule okay what is atomic number of oxygen z is equal to 8 okay so how to write the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 previous case 1s2 2s2 2p3 but here 2p4 2p4 means what how to write 1s2 2s2 2px 2py 2pz here x and how many electrons 2 electrons here 1 1 electron that's a small difference okay now we are going to draw the diagram according to mo theory first the energy level diagram this is the energy level according to alpha principle increasing energy level okay for uh, instead of oneness let k k for sigma 1 s 2 sigma 1 s 2 now we are going to start from 2 s so this is oxygen atom so another oxygen atom oxygen molecule this is what atomic orbital atomic orbital now molecular orbital atomic orbital atomic orbital molecular orbital okay now for 2s for this nitrogen atom 2s orbital if another 2s orbital how many electrons we have 2 electrons so we are going to fill 2 electrons here then this oxygen also contains 2 electrons now these 2 atomic orbitals going to combine to form a molecular orbital now one is getting high, lower energy named as bonding molecular orbital. Another one is getting higher energy named as anti-bonding molecular orbital. Totally, you have four electrons. So, first two electrons filled in ground state, bonding level. Another two electrons filled in anti-bonding molecular orbital. Now, next electrons enter in 2p. 2p means this into p type this is another 2p this into 3 x y z here you have 4 electrons so how to fill the electrons here 1 2 3 here 4 electrons here how to fill the electrons here only majority maximum cells are doing mistake okay how to fill 4 electrons just tell me 1, 2, 3, 4 are that's wrong because the energy is coming on this side. This is x, y, z. So that you have to fill x, y, l, and second element here, not from here. Okay, don't do the very same mistake. X, y, z. So that x, 2, 2 electrons, here 1 electron, 1 electron. Now, these two atomic orbitals are going to combine to form a molecular orbital. That time, one is getting called low energy called as bonding molecular orbital okay named as phi 2px phi 2py sigma 2p is it very same thing in anti-bonding state also first phi star 2px Phi star 2py, then sigma star. This is what? Phi star 2px, phi star 2py, this is sigma star 2pz. Okay. Now, totally you have how many electrons here? 4 electrons, 4 electrons, all together 8 electrons. You know, first you have to fill the electrons in bonding molecular orbital, then only anti bonding level. Totally you have 8 electrons, so the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 2 more electrons. So in that electron, you can fill it in anti-bonding. So 1 electron in 5 star, 2px, 
one of the electron beam pi star to p y clear okay now you are going to uh, write electronic configuration according to the mo diagram you know very well for sigma 1s 2 and sigma star 1s 2 instead of these two only you are going to represent kk because first you are transient of in k11 k cell okay now for oxygen molecule for oxygen molecule how to write the electronic configuration for 1s kk then this is what nothing but sigma 2s this is sigma star 2s okay now in sigma 2s how many electrons two electrons so that sigma 2s two electrons then sigma star 2s two electrons sigma star 2s how many electrons two electrons after that sigma 2p is it sigma 2p is it how many electrons two electrons after that pi 2p x two electrons pi 2p y two electrons see here pi 2p x two electrons pi 2p y two electrons see here both are same energy same energy so that when you are writing the mo diagram electronic configuration in between these two you can write one equal symbol this indicates both are same energy same energy what is the next one pi star 2px pi star 2px how many electrons only one electron don't write two electrons only one electron then pi star 2p y it also contain only one electron both are same energy so that in between one equal symbol this is electronic configuration then after that what we are going to calculate bond order you know the formula bond order is equal to nb minus na by 2 so nb mean what number of electrons in bonding molecule orbital okay now how many electrons present in bonding molecule orbital just count and tell me this is bonding this is also bonding level so here two electrons here six electrons all together eight electrons how many electrons eight electrons in anti bonding how many electrons how many electrons anti bonding mean here two electrons here two electrons all together four electrons so four electrons by two that is equal to four by two is equal to two bond order two that mean what oxygen oxygen bond order two so nature of bond double bond nature of bond is nature of bond is double bond nature of bond double bond what about magnetism magnetic character tell me see here whether it's everything is paired or unpaired paired 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 see here two unpaired electron is there so unpaired electron is there mean that is paramagnetism so this is paramagnetism but before case that uh, nitrogen is diamagnetism because everything is paired here is paramagnetism that's all very important for your question so nitrogen mean here oxygen atomic number 8 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 1s2 mean instead of 1s2 only we are writing sigma sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 instead of that we are representing kk that indicate k shell okay now we are going to draw the diagram energy level 2s orbital for one oxygen atom is another 2s orbital for another oxygen atom now these two atomic orbitals are combined to form a molecular orbital that time one is getting lower energy named as bonding molecular orbital another one is getting higher energy named as anti bonding molecular orbital totally we have four electrons so first two electrons present in bonding level another two electrons present in anti bonding level Yes. 2p, 2p split into three types x, y, z. There is same thing here also x, y, z. P means four electrons. 
So x1, y1, z1, then x1 more. So 2p x2, y1, z1. Very same thing. 2p x2, y1, z1. Now see, is it sigma 2p z, pi 2p x, pi 2p y, pi star 2p x, pi star 2p y, sigma star 2p z, sigma star 2p z. Totally you have 8 electrons. So here in bonding level you have totally 3 orbitals, each and every orbital you can see maximum 2 electrons, so 3 to star 6. So out of 6 you utilize 6 electrons, what about remaining 2? That they are going to represent in anti-bonding level, pi star 2p x1, pi star 2p y1. Now we are going to write the electronic configuration instead of 1s, for writing 1s, sigma 1s to sigma star 1s to, they are representing kk, then kk. Sigma 2s2, 2, 2 electrons. Sigma star 2s2, 2, 2 electrons. Sigma 2pz, 2, 2 electrons. You can write in a straight line. Then pi 2px, 2, 2 electrons. Pi 2py, 2 electrons. Pi star 2px, 1 electron. Pi star 2py, also 1 electron. These are same energy, so that in between we are putting one equal symbol. Then bond order calculation, formula Nb minus Na by 2. Nb mean number of electron present in bonding molecule orbital, number of electron present in anti-bonding molecule orbital, bonding level, this one, that one. So 2 plus 6, 8. Anti-bonding level, 2, 2, 4. So 8 minus 4 by 2, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So nature of bond is double bond, oxygen, oxygen, double bond. Magnetic character. Param character, paramagnetism. Why is paramagnetism? Why not dia? Because, see here, paired, unpaired electron is present. Any species containing unpaired electron means that must be paramagnetic character. Here, two unpaired electron is present, so that this is example of magnetism, paramagnetism, paramagnetism. Very important, one more question. What is bond order of oxygen molecule? Two. Nitrogen molecule means? 3. Helium means 0. Suppose hydrogen means 1. Lithium means 1. This is a very important 1 mark question. This is very important 5 mark question.